Hey Scorpios, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing your April reading. Let's see what's in store with you guys. Um, I'm going to be using the Crazy Cat Tarot here to see a general overview of the month, see what is up with you guys, what is coming through, and what do you need to know. Okay Scorpio, please if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would love to have you here so please go ahead and go and click that little subscribe button right now. <laughs> I would love for you to be a part of the family. Know that I'm going to be doing uh, monthly readings for all signs, but I do have like a special edition of more Pisces readings in this channel because I'm a personal Pisces. Okay, so um, just know that if you see a ton of Pisces readings, it's normal in the channel. You just need to look for the ones for Scorpio, okay? Universe, please bring in the most relevant information for Scorpios for the month of April. 2020, I'm taking the cards that fall on the table, specifically. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. What are Scorpios going to be dealing with? What can they expect for the month of April? How are Scorpios going to be feeling? Bring us information about their money, their health. Their love. All of the necessary information for Scorpio, guys. If this is the only reading that we're going to receive this month, I am going to pull as many messages as I can. So grab your tea, your coffee, make yourself comfy because this is going to take a while. Okay? Okay, let's see. We've got it. King of Cups, King of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, The World. We've got the Nine of Pentacles, we've got the King of Wands, so we have already three kings here. Queen of Cups, Two of Swords. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Scorpios. This goes for Scorpio. Sorry that I say it so much, I'm just trying to tap into your energy. Okay, so we have three kings here, and that, as it is, is very important. We've got the King of Wands, the King of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. Scorpio. So these cards are referring to the highest form of authority within yourself. So we've got the Knight, we've got the Page, the Knight, the Queen, and the King in Tarot for each of the one, each of the four elements. And you've got three of those elements here. You've got the um, pentacles, which is earth, the cups, which is water, and the wands, which is fire. So right now you are at a level of mastery in your emotions, in your physical realm, finances, work, etc. And also in the ability that you have to distribute your energy. Okay, so you're doing well in those areas. Some of you guys um, could be surrounded by very powerful men or very strong personalities in men. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be Aries, Leo, Sag. Could be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Remember that these readings are going to be slightly different for every one of you guys. Not every single Scorpio is going through the same thing. So this is kind of like the energy context of what's going on. But you should take what resonates with you and leave the rest, okay? It seems like you're going to be very comfortable this month, financially speaking. It seems like you maybe have prepared yourself or have been um, working on having everything that you need here with the Nine of Pentacles. It seems like nothing is going to be missing for you. You're going to have everything that you need in every single way. Um, you're going to have, you know, the food that you need, the shelter that you need, the resources that you need, the luxuries that you need. Everything is going to be covered here, okay? With the Nine of Pentacles, this is even a card of luxury. This is a card of having a lot of resources that are not essential. They are just there to please you in some shape or form. So lots of abundance, lots of prosperity here. But there could be a tendency this month of April that you need to take care of and be careful about, which is the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is basically... Crying over spilled milk. This is a card that speaks about when we're focusing on the negative and overlooking the positive. There's a lot of really good things here for you, Scorpio. 
there is a lot of things that are working. There's a lot of things that are great. But there's always going to be like one thing that you're working on. There's always going to be like that one thing that could be better. That could be um, more sort of like in sync with your own pers personal preferences or your expectations. There's always going to be something that can be a little bit off, right? But if you focus all of your energy and all of your perspective in that little thing that's off, sooner or later you're going to miss out or you're going to tune out all of the beauty and all of the abundant, um, beautiful things that are in your life at this moment. So it is important for you to be aware that, yes, there may be some things that you need to work on. Yes, there may be some things that um, need fixing or improving or whatever. But just make sure that you know that that's just a tiny percentage of your life. Don't make the tiny problem something huge that occupies your entire mind space. Because there's so many things here that are great. So many things here that are great. With the... <laughs> Sorry. But the King of Pentacles, um, this speaks specifically about your powerful presence within your uh, career, finances, um, your work, your professional area. You are being recognized in some shape or form as someone who knows what they're doing. You're seen as the king. Remember what I mentioned earlier. Page is the most immature of the aspects of the court cards. Page, then knight, then queen, then king. And you have the king and the king and the king over here. So that means that you're at the top level of your career, your finances, your work, your expectations, your recognition. You're being seen in a very positive light. And the good thing about this month is that you're also going to be very in control of your emotions. Before, maybe you weren't in this level of maturity. Maybe it was um, emotions were something that could come in and kind of like tackle you <laughs> and um, get the most of you. But now it seems like even though you may experience strong emotions, even though you may feel lots of you know, things coming in and out and, you know, maybe some things draining your energy and difficult emotions of maybe worry or stress or whatever, because we do have the Ten of Swords here, which I'm going to go into in a bit. The good thing with this card is that even though you have all of those emotions in the month of April, or you may have those emotions in the month of April, you are not letting them bring you down. You're not giving it, giving them more power than they deserve. You're not allowing the emotions to have more power than your decisions. And that's a very healthy thing, Scorpio. Especially for you, because being a water sign, you can be very emotional. You can be very um, passionate that way. So it's good that I see you are keeping all of the aspects of yourself present. And you're keeping all of the aspects of yourself awoke or awake. awake. I don't know where, how you're supposed to say that in English, but it's like all of the elements of what makes you you are there, but they're all kind of like not contained, but like balanced. I think the, the word would be balanced, not contained, balanced. So with the Ten of Swords here, this is a heavy energy, guys. I'm not going to lie. The Ten of Swords is a card of endings rock bottoms, situations that need to transform because it's just long overdue and it just needs to happen. And with the world here, there may be um, very important transitions and transformations happening for you. Cycles that are coming to an end. Cycles that are beginning at the same time. New cycles, different cycles. It's like going from one chapter of the book to another or from one level to another. I feel like this is so related to the global situation right now. I feel like with the world here and the Ten of Swords, it is an ending to how we see the world, how the world works, how you have been a part of the world. It's like maybe you're going to get this whole shift in your consciousness that is going to want to make you more conscious as far as like your eating habits or your... Um, 
carbon footprint or whatever that's called. You know, like you're going to be more conscious about what you need to do to make the world a better place. Maybe you're going to start um, recycling or doing things that are just needed right now. And that you are seeing the need of those things because of the changes or endings that are happening worldwide. You may also be very, very um, connected to the world through the internet right now. Some of you guys could be maybe spreading awareness about something. Some of you guys may be trying to reach the masses somehow and it's working. You're seeing your message, your light, your presence being kind of like spread around the world um, through social media or internet. Sorry, this is just too cute. These cards are adorable. So this is the crazy cat tower, I think. Um, the Queen of Cups here is representing you, Scorpio. And the Knight of Cups is also representing you. And the King of Cups is also representing you because all of these are water element, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now, you may not be the only water energy in your life right now. You may be dealing with someone who is either another Scorpio or a Cancer or a Pisces. These are so cute. Okay, so I don't know. Tell me what you see here. I see the Knight of Cups, which is usually the knight that brings in an offering, brings brings in love, a proposal, an invitation. Uh, maybe someone will ask you on a date, or someone is going to want to get to know you, or someone is going to bring in an invitation of some kind, or a love declaration, or a confession of something. Something that makes you feel very... Like, I don't know, butterflies <laughs> and makes you feel happy and makes you tap into that innocence and that connection within yourself. This is someone, this is a guy, I think, because it's a knight. And then that same flower that he has here, that he's been wishing to offer, lands in your hands, Scorpio. This is the Queen of Cups. So this is probably you if you're watching this video and you are a female water sign, female Scorpio. I know that this is not, this could be applying for um, Scorpio risings or Scorpio moons. Like this is not a reading only for Scorpio sun. Some of you guys may be a combination of different water elements. Queen of Cups. So it seems like you received this offer. It seems like you receive some kind of invitation, communication, a very innocent proposition. However, the person who is proposing something to you can be a little bit obsessive. <laughs> Look at this cat's expression. He's like, oh my god. <laughs> And this person can be a little bit obsessive, so be careful with that. They mean well, though. And then it's your turn to decide. So with the Two of Swords here, the decision could be a little draining. This could be something that worries you, stresses you out, drains your energy, because it's not an easy decision to make, okay? With the Two of Swords here, these are... Um, different plans or paths, I think it's a better word, different paths that you can go in and they would both work or they would both um, bring in challenges. It's kind of like an even score and then it's harder for you to understand what you should choose because it's like I really don't, I really don't know. Like these are the pros and pros here and pros there and these are the cons here and the cons there and it's just not an easy choice. It's not an obvious choice. This, go, this can go for anything, guys. This can go for to ideas that you want to bring into reality, to projects, to jobs, to partners, to um, health routines, to approaches. It. It's like there's going to be two things that you need to choose from. And it's not going to be an easy choice. With a page of swords, you may be dealing with an air sign as well. 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person could be a little bit immature in their ways, but they're, they also have a very good, pure, huge heart. This person or this card um, also represents communication. Online communication, communication, chats, lots of chats. Maybe you're getting to know someone through the internet. But definitely as far as prosperity goes, guys, you're going to have a good month. Let's see what else is coming through. Messages for Scorpios, April 2020. What additional messages are coming for Scorpio? I'm taking the cards that fall on the table specifically. We've got the King of Swords. <laughs> okay, so you've got the four kings, guys. You are the ruler of your reality at this point. Like, there's nothing... That can stop you, Scorpio. We've got the four kings. This means that you're on the top of your game, guys, this month. You are on the top of your game emotionally, um, energetically, physically, and mentally, intellectually. You're on the top of your game, Scorpio. I'm very impressed. I do have to say. That is amazing. I think this has only happened to me once in a Pisces reading in which all the queens were side by side, like all of them in a row. And this is the closest second that I've seen. So this definitely means that you are also a master of your masculine energy. Even if you're a woman, you know, or a man, doesn't matter. Your masculine energy is that one of doing, you know, the active energy. What you put your effort into it's that motion forward guys you're freaking killing it in april i don't know if you're feeling it right now maybe right now at the end of march you're not really sorry guys i got interrupted what i was saying is that yes maybe at the end of march you're not gonna be feeling right now like you're killing it all that much but believe me in april you will got the hangman right now as you see this video you may not have all the answers. You may not know where the answers are going to be coming from. You may have like no idea what's going on. Honestly, like you may be confused. You may be feeling like you may be feeling like you don't have your shit together. You may be feeling like you don't have control over these areas of your life. But that's an illusion, guys. That's an illusion. It's all a matter of perspective. And with the headman here and the five of cups, Scorpio, it's going to be so easy for you to miss all the beautiful things that are happening if you focus on the negative. Like, it's one of those months that your mindset is going to determine what you experience. Your perspective is going to determine whether you see the beauty or whether you see the tragedy within your circumstances. If you look for tragedies, you're going to find them. If you look for success, you're going to find it. Okay? So, it's there. But the fool here and the world, which is the card that we uh, brought out a little bit ago, this is brand new beginnings, happiness, joy, inspiration, success, feeling like you can't wait for something to happen, feeling like you can't wait for um, the manifestation of your dreams and the things that you desire. It's inspiration, it's something that inspires you so much that it might not even make all that sense, all, all much sense, um, but it's kind of like a leap of faith that you can't wait to jump into and it could be related to work there may there may be like an important seed being planted in your career in your work environment you may be um starting something that you've always wanted to do so let's say you've always wanted to write a book this would be oh my god i actually started and i'm so excited and i can't even deal with my excitement and through that process, you're also going to see like all the things that you have already manifested and kind of like be patient because it is going to be a process that you're opening up. But you're so excited, guys. You're really excited and you're killing it. You're killing it. Four kings. For some of you, I don't think that's going to be the case, but I mean, it could be that you're 
you have four authoritative figures that are very strong in your life. Like maybe one Scorpio out there or two, maybe dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, strong men, man. Aries, Leo, Sag, strong man. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, strong man. Or Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. So this could look, for example, like if you have a big family and you have like a lot of, you know, like your father and your uncle and your grandpa and you're like all of these like authoritative <laughs> people, you may realize that there's one of each element if you actually think about it. Okay. But I think that this is honestly you on the top of your game. That's what I'm feeling the most. So yes, my lovelies, this is what I have for you for the month of April. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. And please make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're aiming to reach 100,000 subscribers at some point of my life. So I would really appreciate your support. Okay? Bye, guys.